We're hitting up another Brazilian wonder kid, so let's check him out. This is Keiki, or also known apparently as Keiki da Silva Chagas. He is a Brazilian 19 year old. He is currently contracted in Manchester City, although he is on loan to Bahia in Salvador in Brazil, I believe. Something along the capital city of the Brazilian state of Bahia. So he is on loan right there right now. 2.8 million rated to 8.6, 25K per week until 2026 uh, as a youngster. So it does not show how he has done this season in Bahia. But overall, I mean, he does not look like he's got many appearances whatsoever. One for Manchester City, and that's it last season. His numbers look pretty good for a 19-year-old. I mean, he is on the attacking sided right piece. Uh, he can play up the middle a bit and on the right midfield line. Crossing a 13 is nice. Dribbling a 14 is nice. Uh, so he's got some 13s and 14s. He does have a lot of whites, a lot of 9s and 10s. Uh, so... There are some numbers that he needs to bring up, but acceleration of 14, pace of 13 is pretty nice, especially for a 19-year-old. So again, hopefully a lot of room to grow. Milestone-wise as a baseline, he's Premier League Division 2-1 winners. Uh, Rio de Janeiro, player, young player of the year, scored his first senior goal and made his senior club debut. So, I mean, he's also made his, apparently, his Manchester City debut. So the big thing is where he's going to end up in the next 10 years and then when he retires, but I mean... Is he going to stay at Man City? Is he going to play for Man City? Is he going to just move on and get some game time elsewhere? Let's check it out. So we are 10 years in, it is the end of the 2033 season. As you can see, he's bounced around. He is currently at SM Cayenne in France. Again, I know that's not the pronunciation, but he has not grown a heck of a lot. As you can see, crossing still 13, dribbling 13, first touch of 13. Uh, he has really not grown into the rating that you'd expect him to grow into. Now, I will say his, his potential is a negative 8, which I'm going to assume is somewhere around 130 to 160. Uh, if he's on the upper side of that, it's a fantastic number that can definitely play at a Man City or a Liverpool or something like that. Uh, but if he's on the lower side of 130, not so much. And it kind of looks like here he may have not grown into that full amount of the potential. Uh, just some of his numbers don't look all that great. Career stats, as you can see, Fluminense on to Man City for eight and a half million, made one appearance. Does not look like he ever played for Manchester City again. But uh, back, he went to Portugal, back to England, went off to Brazil where we saw him in Bahia, Manchester City, never played, loaned to Blackpool, loaned to Barnsley, moved on a free to Dusseldorf. Uh, and I mean, he did okay. High sixes, 669, not great for uh, Dusseldorf the first year. But Holstein Kiel is at Germany, we've seen. And then off to Brazil again. I don't know, Curiba. Uh, so he's he's bounced around. I mean, from England to Portugal to Brazil to Germany, back to Brazil, off to France. So, But France, he seems to actually been doing fairly well. 7-2-6, 32 appearances, 10 goals, 5 assists. So France may be where he should have been. But as you can see, he made a 1.7 move to Holstein Kiel. Uh, Kariba, 2.6 million, and then off to Cayenne for 6 million. So, I mean, overall, eh. Milestones, he does have a bunch. I mean, uh, you've got some Brazil under-20s winners. Promotion from Serie B. Seri B. Uh, Skybet League One champions promoted. So it definitely looks like he is going to be better on the lower side of the divisions than Premier League or the upper echelons. Uh, bought by Kariba, 2.1. Brazilian Mato Grosso state champion. Chip champions relegated from Campeonato, Serie A, uh, Brazil. I mean, he's got a bunch of those, and then promotion from Domino's League Two in with Cayenne. So we'll see how he does in the next couple of years. But it definitely seems like he is much more the lower league side of things. Uh, so definitely check him out. I mean, it's always worth a scouting anyway. But definitely check him out, especially if you're into the lower leagues and you, that's where you're kind of playing. Uh, he may be a great choice to pick you up into the top, you know, top tiers. May not be able to sustain that though. Injuries, absolutely nothing. One major in 2030 with a lower stre back stress fracture, which is not great, six weeks. 
However, two, three moderates, two minors, everything else is slight, so he really doesn't seem injury prone whatsoever. But currently 3.8 million to 11.5 million rated, 25 and a half K per week until 2035. So he's got another couple of seasons in France. It looks like as an important player, uh, I'm guessing he either has a contract extension or he moves somewhere else. Uh, I mean, to go with his long list of teams so far, but he probably only has a couple of seasons left. So let's head on over and see when he retires. So at the end of the 2038 season, it does look like in this save when he retires, he is 35 years old, uh, contracted to AC Ajaccio, again, apologies, but only 3.5 to 10K uh, rated, 12K per week as an impact sub. He's wanted by medalist. But unfortunately, at the end of this season, or I guess the next season in 2039, he is the head of youth development uh, unemployed. So this is when he retires. But as you can see, he's, I mean, even off the bench. 20, uh, five starts, 20 off the bench, six goals, 701 highest average rating, or average rating. It is not bad. So he is still doing fairly well. French just seems to be where he should be, should have gone a long time ago. Crossing has gone up to 14. Uh, a lot of things, 11s, 9s, 10s. So, I mean, his stats just still aren't the greatest, but acceleration of 11, uh, pace of 11, not the fan most fantastic numbers you've ever seen. Definitely, I mean, I would be timed, typically, this is kind of the average time to retire when these numbers just start going down. Uh, the acceleration and pace are still a little higher than a lot that we've seen that have retired at this point. But, I mean, all over, up and down from midfield to striker, on the right as well, he can play. So versatility is nice. But overall, definitely one to scout. And definitely, I mean, if you're in the French leagues, hell, I mean, definitely look at him and see how he can do. Career stats, as you can see from Cayenne, second season in, 6-7-8, third season, 6-4-4, moved on a free the next season, did very well for Ayakio, uh, playing a lot of games, probably, I mean, like we've seen as an impact sub or just an off-the-bench type of player, but still getting some good ratings. 2035, League 2, BKT Player of the Year. Play, players player of the year, most assists in the competition, runner up in 36. So, I mean, even at the very tail end of his career, he's getting some personal accolades, which is nice to see. He's, I mean, he's got a trophy cabinet full, personal team, uh, not real Brazil. I don't think he's had any, no, no caps whatsoever. So he's, but he still had a very nice career. It's just lower leagues, most likely, um, or again, French, but still... You know, he's been around the block. He's been a lot of places. If he sell, settled in one place, if he went to Cayenne maybe at the beginning uh, or thereabouts, Ajaccio, maybe he could have had a much better career. Start off in the second tier and then kind of gradually work his way up instead of going up and then down and then up and then down. But again, definitely one to look for, especially if you're in the second tier, really trying to push for that promotion spot. But overall, probably not the potential I hoped he had, you know, coming from a negative eight, but still. Not too bad of a career. But that is it for Keiki. A single start for Manchester City and then moved all over God's green earth. Uh, and there we go. But I am Savvy FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.